Yeah, I knew I had a lump in my breast and I really just assumed it was a lump in my breast. I had a mammogram two years ago, then I had one a year after, but then I made an appointment with my gynecologist. Well, about eight women in our family have had breast cancer. My mother, her aunt, her aunt's granddaughter, uh, my, other, my mother's other aunt and her two daughters. My mother died of cancer and I had an aunt died of cancer and her sister has cancer. So it runs in our family, cancer does. I spent all my life wondering when I was gonna get breast cancer. And my grandmother's had it, my mother's sister has died from it, and my sister has died from it. I have uh, had breast cancer back uh, in 79 and I had a, a radical mastectomy then and then three years ago I had ovarian cancer. Based on their strong family histories of breast and ovarian cancer, these women chose genetic counseling to learn more about their risk of cancer and the possibility of passing that risk to their children. If you have a positive family history and a first degree relative, either a mother or a sister, or a father who has a sister with breast cancer, or a family history of ovarian cancer, that's indicative of a genetic abnormality and testing should be considered. My youngest brother, uh, all three of his daughters were, uh, were tested. One, the oldest one had breast cancer and that's how this all started. Uh, she got tested, genetic testing, and uh, found that she was also uh, uh, predisposed to have the genetic mutation. And uh, then when she found out that she had the genetic mutation, she informed her, who t her two sisters, which in turn had the genetic testing done too, and both of them came back positive from the mutation as well. I decided I would uh, pursue the same avenue to see whether that uh, I might be able to be passing this uh, mutation down to my daughter. We knew uh, the cancers that were showing up in our family had a large genetic component, and so we were happy to know, you know, that testing was available. So yeah, I, c I couldn't, I couldn't wait. I wanted to know. Then when she said that it was a gene that I can pass on to my daughter, I definitely wanted to know. And I have five sisters and four brothers and I'm second to the youngest, so I would rather, you know, since it happened to me, I would rather know so that it didn't happen to them. Each counseling session starts with your family tree. The information you provide helps determine your risk and your family's risk for inheriting a genetic mutation that will increase your risk for developing cancer. She told us everything that we needed to know. She gave us all kind of paperwork. You know, she was very educational. She gave us all the information. She walked us through it. She made it uh, really easy to understand for us. And, you know, they did a really good job letting us know everything to expect. And even she went through the emotional part with us. She, you know, made us understand that it might be very emotional. Patients with a strong family history of breast and ovarian cancer may be eligible for genetic testing. Before making the decision to be tested, you must understand and weigh the pros and cons. Knowing that the results will not only affect you, but all family members will help with this decision. You know, some of the choices that I may make, you know, would have a big impact on the personal relationships I have now, you know, particularly with my spouse. And so um, I've, you know, we've talked a lot about it and and we really can't know, it's scary because you really can't know how you'll react. We say, uh, on the, you know, your first thought is, oh, absolutely do what you have to do to, to take care of this. But then, you know, you just think about everyday life, how will it change? And there's no way to predict that because I can't undo it if I do it. And I can't, I've never been in that position, so I can't predict how I will feel. So it's kind of just a, an unknown journey. Knowing that you have a genetic mutation that your children have a 50-50 chance of inheriting may cause feelings of guilt and depression. The positive side is knowing that you can give your children options that may prevent cancer from occurring. For me personally, there was only two reasons to be tested and that was my kids. 
I have two daughters. And I mean, I had done everything I could possibly do not to get the breast or ovarian cancer, but for my children, I had to know. Last uh, seven years, two of my sister been diagnosed with breast cancer. And I have a daughter, second daughter, she been diagnosed. And I have a granddaughter and a great granddaughter. So I thought, since I have opportunity, why not? Well, I have two children, and if it will help them to learn if they carry the gene, that they can take precautions before they get cancer. They can do things to keep from getting cancer. It would be worth it for me. There are, you know, better than 50 grandchildren, a large portion of those girls in our family. And I mean, we feel like we're taking responsibility for them when we um, take, care of, take care of this on, in, on our generation. And I just wanted to make sure that uh, if I had uh, a mutation, gene mutation, that, uh, that I could be uh, possibly passing on to my, to my daughter too. The test consists of a simple blood test. The sample is analyzed for mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. These genes are linked to an increased risk for breast and ovarian cancer. When the results of the test come in, the genetic counselor will meet with you to discuss the results and what they mean to you and your family. It's giving you a better knowledge to know what's going on within yourself, you know, and, and, and what's going to go on within your uh, family later on. You know, uh, uh, if, if, if you're predisposed to pass this mutation on, then your family should know that. I did the test for myself because it was no big deal, really. I mean, it's simple. And I did it for my children. And, you know, once you go through what you go through, you're better off knowing. So for me, it was a huge blessing to get the test. and to just have that positive outcome and, and to look forward to the future now. And for the first time, not wondering if I'm gonna be around for it. Different results mean different healthcare decisions. When you receive your results, your doctor has a better understanding of how to manage your healthcare. He can then discuss your options and you can make well-informed decisions about your future. The fact that I've been positive now the mutation uh, has, has changed my outlook on life completely. I get to scream quite a bit more often now than I, make, than I did before. I, you know, I start looking for these predisposed cancers, so to speak, that I'm supposed to be more susceptible to getting to than, over than the, uh, the general population. I would much rather know that I carry the gene than not know. Before, I, when I didn't know, I, I mean, that's all I thought about. You always wonder when it's gonna show up or if it's gonna show up. Well, now I know that there's a greater possibility that it will show up. So you know what you need to do. You can go to the doctor and say, look, I need this test, I need that test, you know? And before they're like, no, I don't think you need that. Well, now you know you need it. We really want to um, have as many choices available as possible. And we feel like the only time to do that is while we're healthy. And we don't want to be backed into the same corner as some of the other siblings have been. And that's, you know, to be faced with disease and then have limited choices. So that's been real important for us. The fact that I was negative had no impact on what I'm going to do in the future as far as taking care of myself, following up with my oncologist, uh, monthly self-exams at home, mammograms, whatever my oncologist suggests is in the way of preventing a future occurrence or a recurrence of this cancer. It doesn't affect that at all, but what it did was just lift an enormous weight off my shoulders. I never expected to be negative. I was sure with all the cases of breast cancer in our family that I would be positive. It never occurred to me I could be negative. So I'm gonna be looking for them, you know, and screening for them, and uh, you know, knowledge is power. <laughs> if you didn't have that knowledge, you wouldn't have the power. Getting genetic testing is a personal decision. It affects you and your family. However, knowledge is power, and for many patients, making the choice to be tested proved to be an empowering experience. Discover the risks, understand your options, get the test.